All right, y'all, welcome back to another video here on the LS Nasty YouTube channel. Got some stuff going on in the shop here. You guys have been watching the John Doc YouTube channel, you know what's going on. If not, go over and check out my other YouTube channel. It is the John Doc YouTube channel. Uh, as you can see, you got the Mustang up on the lift, you guys. Even though this is the LS Nasty YouTube channel, you guys really like the Mustang stuff. Um, Salty Chicken, which was the last video we did, is still doing good. Just sent the motor up to TCAM, which is the last video I did on the John Doc YouTube channel at this point in time uh, when I'm filming this. So we got some stuff going on. Had some issues at the track with the Mustang last time, acting really, really weird. Uh, we think we diagnosed the issue. Everything in the, we thought it was a, a major valve train issue, right? I mean, that's what I thought. Yeah, but we thought I thought it was like a drop valve, something really bad. And really, what it was was the stand. Yeah, the stand broke the bolt. Yeah, it had some broken bolts in the stand, which is which would explain why it wasn't there. And then all of a sudden, there's an issue. Um, so these are the stands. Uh, they're Jessel stands for the solid roller setup. And here's one of the bolts. And was the other one just stripped out or was it loose? It was loose. So it was just loose. The other um, one popped the head off. Yeah, the other one broke it. Uh, but here we are, so we decided to strip everything down, talk to the guys at the TCAM. They said they're going to turn around quick. We asked if they could do that, and they're like, that's what we do, bring it on. So um, instead of just being like, oh, we just need to put another bolt in there, let's check it, make sure everything's good. And then the first thing we did when we pulled the heads off, we were like, holy smokes. We have been pushing some, we've been blowing the head gaskets apart. Yeah. And you could see right here, all of the black, it shouldn't be like that. So they sprayed some, we didn't assemble this motor, we, this motor came in the car when we got the car. Um, they had some copper spray on just a standard steel multi-layer and all this black is cylinder pressure escaping. Uh, as you can see, it goes right into water jackets. This one is a oil passage, I believe. I'm new to the 8-2 deck stuff, uh, but Absolutely, like this, that out of ten, that's like a nine. That's an eight and a half or a nine. Yeah, I mean that's up there. I think that might have been part of the noise we were hearing because we heard, we did have a a bolt that was one of the manifold bolts was gone, but I think that, that all the noise we heard, we might have been hearing some of the. Some of this. Some of that. Yeah. Some cylinder pressure, literally just blowing out of it. I mean, this hole. Not so bad. Right here, it was starting to get it. Uh, it was on its way. It was definitely on its way to blowing out. This one was jumping from hole to hole, and then it was going out uh, its nearest way. I mean, the fact that we weren't pushing water literally out of the radiator blows my mind. Right? Yeah. Because, I mean, look, at like this is blowing out right into coolant passages. The other side, just as bad. This one here lit up. This one here lit up. This one here. For some reason, these two are just happy campers. Pretty happy campers. So, I think the part of the reason they weren't pushing so bad out the radiator is because it was just pushing hole to hole and pushing it into the intake. That's probably why it was smoking down track because it got so much crankcase pressure. Yep, and it doesn't have a pretty decent breather setup on it, does it? Well, I'd say it's not. Yeah, yeah it's not sufficient for how. 10, 10 it, it going larger wouldn't hurt. Would not hurt. One no. Bit. Uh, big knots of piston, so compression would be good. Unlike the alcohol motors and the E85 stuff, it looks a lot grosser than the other stuff solely because it's gasoline. We run this engine on Q16. Um, but we've been slowly going up in boost the last time we were at the track and um, ran some good numbers, I think, for the car. Car's pretty heavy car for a Fox body. Uh, it weighs 30, 40 with me in it. I mean, steel doors, glass all around. It literally just has a bumper and a hood. Yeah, power windows. Um, I mean, it's pretty standard stuff, but this right here is, we caught it at the perfect time, like you said. I mean, it was like meant to be. Yeah, if we had waited, you would have seen like, when they go, that you like, it's like welding get the gasket molten hot and then it's like no torch it'll torch it's like it'll come out like a uh, ember from the fire yeah you'll see it going down track it'll like go out the wheel well or something They'll be like oh that's not a nitrous car yeah it'll be uh it's probably that if we've made that pass probably we've done it yeah um next step for this and that the heads are t-cam top fuel hoops yep. which is 
100% needed. Now, tune-up wise, we weren't really mean to it. Tune-up wise, very conservative on timing. We just started stepping up boost. Um, nowhere were we like, oh, we know. I mean, this is this right here is just cylinder pressure. Uh, so. Most fastest we made the car were about 23 or 24 pounds. Yeah, and then the last time we were at the track, we cranked up to like 28, 29. We finally made 28 pounds, I think. 28 or 29 pounds. Yeah, and it was... So it was like 11 to go. But I could just feel it already. Just a T-cam top fuel hoop right there. And pow! 45 pounds boost. No Rotating the world. We're in here RVW with this. Jason Brazel Jr. here. Yeah, Jason Brazel Jr. Okay, Mr. Proma Jr. Oh! Oh, oh, why you gotta hate on this pro mod? Hey, you guys are in the same category. You got no oil pressure. Neither are you. I, I can crank that bitch up right now. Let's take it to Atlanta this week. No, I'm not gonna race oh. it, but I got I got oil pressure. I got oil pressure. Stips. 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 I guarantee I crank that. You know what? With, without the charger on it. Oh, you know what? This is just to prove a point. Now I'm just being petty. Don't, don't think you, uh, forgot about the oh God, the wipers! The radio's going. Oh no! All right, it is in park. We can confirm that. Oil pressure! Oil pressure! What you know about that? Talking smack about oil pressure over here. Look at this badass hat by Ben, though. That's that's nice. And Logan's got one on. Everyone's just sporting LS Nasty, all different colors. So, if, hey, if you guys leave in the notes, Wes will even bend it like Jason Brazel for you before we ship it. That's an option. Put in the comments. There's a comment section when you per make a purchase. You know, if you want to say anything, say bend it like Brazel. And we'll have Wes Brazil. or Brazel come over and. Brazel. All right. So, um, off to TCAM with this. Anything else? If we go to Atlanta, we have to win. I think if we do go, that I think that it would not be. Go, I think going would not be a bad idea. Ben's Ben's for it. Are you for it? You already have off. I, I've been for it the whole time. Look, I think going with this. I mean, it's a, the rate. What 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 class? Small tire. Yeah. This is a small tire race car. This fits the. Whoa whoa whoa! Street car though. It's a street well, car. It fits the class. No, there's no, there's nothing we can really do to this car to make it fit that class any better. No. This is built for that class. Yeah, it we're not. Should be an upfront competitor. Yeah, especially with top fuel hoops. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll remote yeah. tune with Kevin Mullins and we'll just be like, give him the sauce. Yeah, that is the cheat code. Top fuel hoops is the it cheat is. code. But here's the thing, if it does Willie's, he ain't gonna stay in anyways. Hey, 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 hey! How's that oil pan look? How's that oil pan look? Hey, look, let me tell you something. I can hang at least 10 or 20 pounds of Olympic weight. Olympic weight? I'm going fresh for I'll buy some Willy skis tonight. Bo. We'll have them here tomorrow. Listen, I went up to TKM. Sammy said, hey, great job driving. I said, Sammy, you know what? You're almost a professional driver. I appreciate that. I'm glad you could see my talent behind the wheel. You hey, want to see me go to Dick Sporting Goods <laughs> into the Olympic weight section? Hey, we're just going to start throwing tent weights on the front of it. Hey, we got enough of them. We can hang them. We'll just talk to Phil. He has Hondas. He's got he's got weight plates. Yeah, he's got weight plates everywhere. Sometimes I've learned that's a great option. Tent like, weights. When you're like on the verge of like, let me do this or that or do do do. No, just hang some weight off. Of it, Fifteen you know? pounds. Just down. Instead of messing with the geometry, sometimes it's better just to hang. 10 pounds off the nose of this car out near where that bumper is and that little tiny boo-boo is. Yeah, we didn't like, do that. That'll do a lot. Anybody got we didn't do that. 10 yeah. pounds right there will do a lot. Yeah, well, you know what? Streetcar takeover, not not talking smack, but with the small tire class compared to the tracks that we run, they're known to be marginal at best. And I feel like that's a good game we play. We could channel our inner John Phillips and go out there and put a dirt road tune up in it and... Go out there and, and maybe win, you know? Pass. Yeah. We got to have him come by and cook our oil first, and after that, we'll be good to go. No, so We'll be watching from a mile away. Yes, yes. Uh, we got to load this up in the truck, and then Chris and I are heading to TCAM first thing in the morning, and Logan's been preparing the parts that we've taken off to for reinstallation. Um, Wes has been over here grinding away, helping disassemble the engine, and, uh, and I've literally been 
cleaning the oil pan. So you're going to wait up there all day tomorrow and just take it home with you tomorrow? No, Thursday morning we have to go and pick up a car in Charlotte. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are you going to tell them what it is? No, I'm not. No, no I'm not. You'll never guess it, by the way. Yeah. But it is also an 8-2 deck car. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. It is a 8-2 deck. I thought it was a 9-5. Huh? I thought it was a 9-5. It's a 302 car. Oh. Damn! Well, 8-2 deck. Huh? Yeah, oh yeah, it's got a C4. Maybe, I don't, whatever size hey, it is. Hey, it's... I gotta go home is and sleep. Is it a Polis car? Uh, no, he said maybe, he doesn't know. A what? A Polis car? What is that? Police? Oh, I don't know. Got him! Oh! 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 Alright, send him out of here, Logan. Like I said, check out the merchandise link below. <laughs> <laughs>